listening to the Fun Box Podcast. I ate a bunch of LSD. I did a series of videos on rape victims. Dude, being left-handed, it's the worst thing in the world. With your host, Rob Webb. Can you tell me if it's uh, cut or uncut? For visual sakes? Oh, man. It's uh, very much so uncut. That's how I roll. Nice. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Fun Box Podcast, episode 43. Not too bad. 43 <laughs> years old. No, 43 weeks old, I should say. Give or take. How old? 43 weeks. How many months is how many months is that? Nine? <laughs> What's 43 divided by seven? Yeah, that's a good one. Uh nine? Right? No. Or six point something? It's going to be six. Oh, it is six even? 42 is six. Okay. You know. And But uh, that that leads into the first topic I know I want to talk about. The Maths <laughs> introductions is how we're going to figure out what your podcast is now. Because I've been reading the comments... And everybody's like, I'm confused about the format and like yeah. what they're talking about and shit. I haven't. So I say, I haven't read any comments. One of these times, <laughs> like that. <laughs> Am I just nodding right now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying one of, one of these one of these episodes, we're gonna finally pin down your your podcast theme, and it could be a math podcast. It could be. It could be like a. Not educational, but like a, a like a constant shaming of you for not for not knowing math. Like you get on different mathematicians and just infuriate them with with your yeah with my uh, horrible knowledge of math. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I think I think it could be something. It'd be hard to get all the way up to 43 episodes, but those five would be on point. But I think that or or maybe a Ducks podcast. A Duck? Yeah, like cuz I think there's a lot of there's a lot of different ground you could cover with Ducks cuz you could you could start with you know, discussing your favorite mallards and shit, different different types of actual bird ducks, but then you can go on to like the mighty ducks, and then you could go on to like the mighty ducks, the 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 goddamn hockey team in yeah. in California, and then you could go on to like the motion of ducking, yeah, like squatting down, but not sitting or kneeling like that in between the flying v you could talk about the flying v because that's part of the that that's not only the ducks but it's also the mighty ducks but you're not going to be able to talk about knuckle puck and talk about both because regular ducks don't knuckle puck but they do flying v right i'm just saying like when you're coming up with with what your podcast is going to be all about for the rest of forever you got to think about wide ranging subjects and i feel like you could get 43 episodes out of ducks the mighty ducks well the mighty ducks would be like a a holiday five part special like a christmas boom 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 five episodes the it's going to be a lot of filler about just look up a type of duck and then talk cuz there's probably oh, thousands thousands of ducks thousands of well, ducks and sometimes they get confused. So that's what I'm saying. You do you start doing 25 minute podcasts where you just break down like the the I don't I don't know a fucking duck name off the top of my head. Uh, Daffy, Daff, fictional ducks. Yeah. So after you're done with Mighty Ducks, you start you start doing Ducktales. You start yeah. doing Daffy. You start doing Donald. Donald. You yeah. start doing uh, uh, Darkwing. Darkwing Duck. Darkwing. He's duck. the hero what? gonna take pollution or no. No, that's that's <laughs> that's, that's uh Captain Captain Planet. Planet. Um not the same kind of thing as Darkwing Duck. Darkwing yeah. Duck is let's get 
dangerous. Let's get dangerous. D -d 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 Darkwing Duck. Better watch out, you bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I see. I'm. That's opening it up like ten more episodes. If yeah. You start getting into fictional ducks and Scrooge McDuck. Right. Tailspin. Yeah. There was the one that was the robot duck and tailspin that had the wheel. Any idea what he's called? Cyber duck. Oh man, I don't know. Robot Robo Duck. They had a whole show about ducks, Duck Dynasty. Well, it wasn't Fuck, about duck ducks, Dynasty. But what they made it? a duck whistle. Yeah, it made or a, a duck call, whatever you call it. Duck, duck whistle. I like this duck podcast idea. There's so much untapped duck potential. Yeah. And and then you can always just do your filler episodes where you select a duck of the week and <laughs> bang out interesting facts about them. You're like, oh, their feathers only grow north to south or whatever. Right. And and their uh, uh, their regions. Their diet. is that a true thing? Their duck feathers only grow north. Like, here's yes. another. Is it true that moss only grows on the north side of trees? No, that can't be true. It's it, I, it. There's no way that it is. But there's all kinds of shit that people think is true that just wildly, wildly, wildly isn't. That's what the podcast could be. Is what do you? What's fucking true things that you think are true but fucking aren't for sure? Not just like oh, all right. right. I think that the Earth's flat. No, no. Well, that's for sure true. Yeah. Like, it's like uh, uh, people swallow eight spiders a year. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's no way. How how could anybody make up that? Not as the, not only there no way. That was a specific experiment where a lady was trying to trick people. Like it was it was literally a, a scientific experiment where she posted that article. To see if people would believe. Oh them. right, yeah. You don't fucking eat eight spiders a year, man. Do you? Are you, people? There's a actual. I will wake up every time there's a spider in my mouth. You're every right. time. Yeah, every time. He's not stealthily getting down my throat eight no. times every year. Come on. No, there was a uh, this psychological experiment that they did, and they do that a lot with like the social media stuff. They uh, ever hear about the man that everybody dreams about? Yeah, with the He's picture, like re they they drew a picture and da 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 da. They're yeah. like, "Have you seen this man in your dreams?" Yeah, and it was a specific fucking experiment. It, yeah, it, uh, but yeah, people people that that's a good topic for the new podcast theme, right? Shit, bullshit that people ought be believing, like praya mantises are extinct, so or endangered, so don't they're fucking everywhere. Yeah, that are bugs. I don't see a lot of them. I mean, whenever I do, I'm kind of like, oh, wow. Oh, it's endangered. I can't squish it. Or well, I don't even want to squish it. Cause I don't want to squish it either. It's, it moves its head. It's killing other bugs. But you've heard that. You've heard somebody say, oh, no, we can't. That's in mantis endangered. Right, endangered. Like nobody is ever going to make a law about bugs. Are geese still protected? By who? The government, like you Have can't you ever kill been them. Been to a Chinese restaurant? No, I'm talking about in America. Are like are, are are Canadian geese still protected by our government? Like I don't know if they ever were. Were they? Yeah, and I know when I first Is started. This just some bullshit that maybe some park you, ranger told you one time, and now it's. Yeah, maybe it's that's just what it is. Into your brain as facts. It right? sounds good. Yeah, it sounds, <laughs> I have no reason to say. I don't it really see it's people right. hurting them all the time, right. so maybe I have no reason to dispute that they're not. But like one person that I work with ran one over. They don't move out of the way really fast. I, I, uh, I, I, a bit of childhood trauma. I was, I was maybe. Oh, that's a good podcast. Ch childhood trauma podcast. It's like real dark, depressing kind of. Um, it wasn't as traumatic for me as it was. Well, it was because I remember it still. Five, six, riding my bike down the street. Don't know where I'm going because that's too much to remember for being five or six. 
but I'm just slowly riding my bike down the street, and like a block ahead of me is a bird in the middle of the street. It was like some type of pigeon, some type of dove type of bird, and like I, I was just slowly riding down the street on my bike towards this bird, and no part of my brain didn't think that the bird was going to move the fuck out of the way. All right. And it just didn't. And I just very slowly ran into this fucking bird and killed it with my bicycle. Jeez. On Your com- bike. Yeah, on complete accident as, as like a five-year-old. And I just... I, my- I, 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 I was... It didn't cross my mind that the bird wouldn't move. I was I was for sure the bird would move. Yeah. My brother has ran into ever, like anything you could pro- possibly run into in Ohio besides a human being or a coyote. He hasn't hit a coyote, but he How many deers? He's hit like six deer. Fuck, man. <laughs> and he's hit a turkey or a chicken. I feel like a turkey would fuck your car up. Bad. And uh he's hit I mean, my mom's ran a over. Rabbit. My mom's ran over a turtle. <laughs> yeah, that shit sucks. I it saw got stuck on her tire. Yeah, yeah. That kind of makes me feel. I kind of feel bad about that because I like turtles. I like turtles. That's terrible. Road roadkill podcast. Do yeah, that, you know, Road Gill, what geese, kind of geese are protected by the federal? Yeah, you could be the fact checker, I guess. <laughs> but like, how protected <laughs> are they? Well, they you're not allowed to move them, their eggs or their nests, unless uh, there's proper unless permits. you get permission from the goose from the Ohio Division of Wildlife, at least in Ohio. Yeah. In Ohio, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, uh, the Fun Box Podcast we have Holland, we have the beard. All right, like, I inter- usually refer yeah. to you as the beard. Whatever. Even though it's not like we're gonna, we might have to change names if we switch to a duck-based podcast. Yeah. Though. Yeah, especially if you have a beard. <laughs> 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 but uh, we have Maggie off camera today. She's not on camera, but she's on the side. She is. She's the, actually out in the field. Yeah, she's out in the field. Uh, reporting live. Reporting from, live from the hurricane. Yeah, the hurricane down in the old Gulf of Mexico. I'm sure there is one. You know what? It's kind of wild that it golf the golf gets. I guess it's not. I mean, it's natural acts of God, but it's like I. Uh, it just seems like the golf is so like specific, and there's so much land. Like, not that much land around it. I guess well, it's, it's no land. That's why it's the golf. Well, I'm talking about the land. That's why the golf is like the golf is the body of water. Hence the name golf. I know, but it's a body of water surrounded like the Pacific Ocean is the biggest ocean, right? Yeah. Or and then the Atlantic. They got uh is that like sound effects? Oh yeah, you're on never mind, it's not sound effects because you're in <laughs> it's the pretty, hurricane right now. It's pretty windy right now. <laughs> uh, uh have you seen any evidence of uh uh, looting. Yeah, or, is there uh, looting going on? No, everybody's fucked off. It's way too it's too, <laughs> too windy, too wet. You right. heard it here. Too too windy, too wet to steal. Right. <laughs> I'd still do it. I'd still steal. <laughs> no wind is going to hold me back from getting myself a TV. <laughs> It'll hold you back from stealing an umbrella. Actually, the TV might uh, it might hold me back because it's flat and big. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that video of the kid getting stuck in that kite? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did Did you see oh, that? Shit. I have not. Show, kid show, in show, Maggie kite. and your viewers stuck in kite. All right, yeah, a kid got stuck in a kite. Oh, that's the one. What? This <laughs> and um, like. Super lucky to not die. Yeah. I got pulled up like 150 feet. Oh my god. (laughs) 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 
sorry. She was swept up by the winds after becoming entangled in the strings of a f- giant kite. We, oh, like, we didn't it. need that part of the text because, of course, that's what fucking happened. Yeah. Can you rewind it? I want to see. Let's do it. Let's watch it again. Oh my god, yeah. All the angles. <laughs> Jeez. It, it got tied around his neck or something like that. Wow. She was swept up in the wind after getting wrapped up in the strings of a kite. Yeah. I don't feel like the text isn't necessary because, of course, yep. this happened last month. That's what happened. I haven't heard anything about it. Holy crap, dude! Damn. Big news. I mean, yeah, people were tweeting about it. Um, I deleted Twitter. <laughs> I have Twitter. I just don't know how to use it properly. I don't know. It doesn't really makes sense to me i don't know how to even get anybody to follow or retweet anything i do i guess i gotta be clever (laughs) i I suck at it it. or like maybe good fantasy football information yeah like if you knew what the right flex wide receiver three for this upcoming weekend would be right that'd be information i would appreciate you tweeting that maybe we can become a fantasy football podcast where we talk about fantasy football. Right. Not just talk about it, get experts on, do some prognostications, do some projections for 2021, you know, really break down the numbers. Right. Um, and do a betting pool. Yeah. We right. could, uh, an illegal yeah. <laughs> betting pool. Oh, yeah. Who do, you, who do you think is next on the Death Pool in the celebrity world? <laughs> That's a good podcast. Death Pool. It's well, not, welcome to Death Pool. It's not Betty White. Where we talk about who's going to die next. Bob Barker. Bob he's Barker. Alive? Yeah, he's, he's still, still alive. alive, I think. Is he? Yes. Look that up. He's old as shit. We need some fact checks. I think he, I think he died. No. <clears throat> he died in 87. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying Elvis Presley. Is my next step on He's the... 96 years old. Oh, he's still alive. How old would Elvis be today? You're going to make me do shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, because, you know, they say he, what would he went with the aliens and didn't die. But if he didn't die then, he's probably going to die soon. Because he's probably really old. Yeah. Uh, He didn't die. He just went home. <laughs> uh but uh guys what's up uh spotify listeners we love you uh youtube watchers we love you uh uh eventually we're gonna pick this back up uh 40 you know we're 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 going as far as like uh content we need we need your guys to support and i'm not asking for money i do have a thing scrolling on the thing and it says tips accepted it looks like it's scrolling really, really fast, fast yeah which you know leave it yeah it's leave it. <laughs> it's not it's just like the the way the uh <laughs> pixels are going but yeah well how old do you think elvis would be now? i'm gonna guess 87 no 79. No. He's older than that. 91. Older. 91. 104. Younger. 80, 80, younger. 89. Young, younger. Jeez. I'm just. 87? 88. Younger. 83. Younger. No. Elvis is younger older. than I thought. A little older. 84. A little older. Five. 85. 85. Ding, Elvis ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Today? Today? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, man, that's that's that. Is his birthday? No, but yeah, eighty-five. Elvis would be eighty-five, which isn't that. I mean, it's old. Don't get me wrong. I mean, people are living pretty long lately these days. It seems yeah, like. but he was looking rough when he supposedly died. He was. He was uh, when I see these banana, so, when I see these celebrities that die, 
uh, or when I see these celebrities that uh, when they hit my age, it makes me think. And I, I look at myself and I'm like, man, I'm I need to do something. But then again, I'm I don't I'm not as bad as some people. Like I'll go, the news will be like a 25 year old robbed a bank, and you'll see the picture, and it's like, oh, he looks like he's like wow. 50, like some. Dude lived a hard life. Yeah, hard life, a lot of meth. Like, wow, man. Blame the lighting. Yeah. Those, uh, the pictures that they take for you at the D, at the BMV. Oh, mine the fuck was, is up with that? Mine was amazing for this year. Because they're in black and white. <laughs> they don't show you all your shit. Good. I still, I need to get, redo my license soon then. Yep, you got, I think you do it this year, I think. Yep. Let's do a fucking BMV podcast. Like uh, the uh, struggles of uh, pulling numbers and waiting. Right. And just always talk about that. It'll be like being. Next BMV. time you go to the BMV, you should you go just go, happy birthday! <laughs> and see who looks at you. <laughs> Man, the, pro- the only proper etiquette at the DMV is to sit there silently and look miserable. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and smell like your work. You shouldn't. <laughs> there should be nothing. Because nobody else preps themselves for that place. <laughs> Nobody's like, I'm gonna put on my finest for the BMV here. Nope. Trick is I got my shit everybody's got mine. babies hanging out of their arms and shit. <laughs> like fucking like everybody has like Everybody's grease, like car grease and car oil, like on their fingers. All the dudes have like crust in their fingernails. Maybe we can just not do a DMV, but an Ooh. automotive podcast. It'll be car talk. Car I don't talk. Know if you're familiar with car talk? <laughs> no, you're not familiar with car talk. Joe Messer would know. Car talk was like, I'm sure, I can't remember the record. But it's like the longest running radio program fucking ever or some shit or that like that might be like wobegon do you know like wobegon the prairie home companion you don't know the prairie home companion no or car talk man these are the these are the fucking monoliths of radio these were the the uh, so car talk was just two guys that you could call into the to the fucking radio show and be like, hey, my Dodge Caravan is making a, 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 a clink, clink, clink noise. And they'd be like, oh, that's your fucking... Da, 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 da. That you, it was a call in, what's fucking wrong with my car show. <laughs> Sorry, dude. And I'm a jerk. We could do that yeah, just like them, but not know anything about cars. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I know you just uh, needed a head gasket. Like yeah. you probably know as much as I do. Fuel I cap. mean, fuel cap probably. You know the <laughs> physics behind the combustion engine. How many <laughs> cylinders are? You know, I know pistons. enough to do the dumb shit when it. Bre- I know. Oh, my battery's wrong. Oh, I'm in okay. plenty of like car groups because I, even though I don't know shit, but it's just interesting mm. to see people make fun of Hondas and it's crazy Fords though. And, it's crazy know. how many smart roughneck type people out there. <laughs> Like, where it's like, wow, this guy's, something's wrong with his brain, but he knows how to, like, <laughs> he knows what cylinder's firing off and what's not. And, and like, I'm, I'm like, in a group called, like, Camrys with dented bumpers. <laughs> it's, it's, uh. Yeah, it's you, a thing. Like, you, every Camry has a dented. You hunt for Camrys <laughs> with dents in the bumper. It can't be, scra- uh, yeah. it can't, they're. It's super specific. People it, are like, ban, ban, if you have like a crack or like a hole. That's in the bumper, not a dent. It has to be a beautiful dent. <laughs> and then people block out the um, the license plates. It's like, oops, it looks like you did a license plate doodle. And then people like just blow up the license plate as the background uh, uh, surrounding the car with the dent. It's, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Another, oh, something happened. I can't hear me. You can't hear yourself? No, it just went out. I can hear you, though. I can hear so you. So that's good news. Doop. Yep, that's good news. <laughs> well, shit. I, uh, maybe, so maybe we there can we do go. a podcast about hyper-specific car groups. Right. On the internet. 
like dent dent Camrys or or you park like a fuckhead. Uh, VW Bug reboots from the two thousand ones car club. Here's what always complex. Here, <laughs> com- bugs. When it comes to cars, <laughs> you remember those? Fucking- <laughs> you know what really blows my mind is the rear differential steering. <laughs> it, it's like the it's like really good technology, guys. It's like a feat. You know what's also good is the the U joint, the universal joint. Yeah, mechanism is a fucking phenomenal uh, invention. One World War Two for the Allies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like maybe I don't know. Maybe had some. Was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, war invented so many cool things, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, unfortunately. Yeah, you gotta. In order to make an omelet, you gotta break some eggs and gen- and kill a whole bunch of people at the same. <laughs> yeah, do some weird medical experiments right? and shit while you're at it. That's an unfortunate fucking thing. Yeah. Let's talk about let's do a super fucking dark topics podcast. Yeah, and dark talk like child molestation. Talk about hu- human <laughs> medical the worst experimentation one. during war. And stuff. Yeah. That's Lobotomies. Um asylums. What what is a so they have a right now they have as far as asylums go, they just have a like the Nord Center, what would that be called? It's just like a a loony bin. No, nobody calls anything a loony bin. Yeah, those it's not are called extinct. A, yeah, those are extinct. Yeah. Yeah. So what is? They just go psychiatric there. Psychiatric care center. Psychiatric yeah. care center. They help you with like depression, anxiety. There's been they take emergencies of people, you know, suicidal people. I've been there. Yeah. Real crazy people that are too far crazy, they just kick out onto the streets. And, it, it, and on Skid Row. <laughs> yeah, that was a... But that's a real... That's a fucking dark goddamn topic. Yeah, it that is. That shit really happened. They defunded a, a lot of mental health and just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like, here you go. Streets, well, man. it's like, why? is it, Was it because like they weren't getting taken care of good enough? It's like, well... No, they were treating them like shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was... Uh, early medicine yeah oh, yeah it seems like a lot of the times the government will get involved with stuff topic. and everything turns into like the bmv but also <laughs> like in, in in modern days it's not it it's it, i mean it's it's the people voting it's us it's all of us we don't we don't give a shit enough about people with mental health to mm-hmm. want to pay to, to help them because yeah we don't, i do we don't i'll pay think, for it well i, I mean i'm saying in use general, my tax we, money uh, uh dude i've been a, population we don't we don't but i can see why don't people value that we don't think we but i can see why people get upset when they're getting taxed you know their job and their money is getting out and and then they see the world around them like be retarded right and then they're like well where's all my money going then <laughs> well it's going to pools yeah and, so who's uh, gonna die next guys <laughs> oh we're on the who's gonna die next podcast <laughs> well, I, I, I was gonna actually show you something but that's okay no, it's cool. Show me. It's in the drive. It's a GIF. Oh, it's a GIF. Let's, I was going to show let's you. Let's do the looking at stuff that got uploaded to the drive podcast. It's, yes. Uh, <laughs> if you ever seen anybody do this, it's freaking crazy. Um, it's in the media. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Um, yeah, go all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> right i'm a retard dude. <laughs> it's very bottom very bottom yeah. i don't know how to do things this shit um backwards oh i see oh backwards vehicles man let's get on that obscure fucking vehicle groups podcast <laughs> in just each episode we we find a different obscure vehicle group so this guy and break it down uh do research he formed his car to drive backwards yeah everything's backwards the trunks the under the hood and the (laughs) and the engines in the back fucking sweet (laughs) i've seen a different one it was an suv with an engine i mean it is fucking sweet but also uh, excuse me like imagine how much time it took and like how much he really wanted to have a backwards truck like this Spend that much time and money, you, like you have to have it in your fucking heart. Yeah, like I want a fucking backwards truck. Yeah. I can't. 
Dude, I and en- dude, I envy people with that Every kind of day drive. Every day at work, he's like, I'm, 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 it's an extra fucking hundred dollars this week towards my backwards <laughs> truck fund. Dude, those people are the One champions. Day. <laughs> How crazy would that be, though? I those know. are the, that I, I envy that mentality so much. That, that good drive, that super <laughs> wholesome drive to, to spend all your money on a backwards truck. Yeah, I, like I get that. it. I get it. I'm, I'm giving. I'm kind of. It feels like I'm down talking. Yeah. Them. Well, it's but seems that's like not. It, I don't mean to, because I get your point of man. It'd be great to have that yeah. kind of dry, that kind of fucking passion. Yeah. For I won't never have that for backwards trucks, but for some for anything. fucking hobby. Sometime. Yeah, for anything. Imagine yeah. if you yeah. geared that passion towards. <sighs> If that guy wanted to be like a rock star or something, he he probably could have done it. He would have done it. Saved up every yeah. week, yeah, <laughs> and 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 bought his bought himself a rock star lifestyle, right? I I, I think I think there's something for it. I think it, this could be a, a obscure automotive podcast. I think I I feel like that's. Tesla. My top vote getter. Tesla's right pretty ex- obscure. You don't have to switch gears in a Tesla. You I don't just... have to switch gears in my car either. It's an automatic. Well, it switches gears though. I mean, but I don't have to. Yeah, it's I know. An automatic. I know, but Tesla don't even have gears. I don't even know what kind of axle they use. Man, I'm sure there's gear inside of there. It's a car. It's electric. But I'm I'm not saying it runs. It has these. Gears. I'm not saying it's a, it has a transmission that's gear based. I'm just betting that there's a fucking gear in there in the window. What's what's rolling the window up and down? Oh, I got you. Is there a fucking gear in there? Probably, maybe. A wheel with teeth. Yeah, going up and down a, a track. Yeah, there's some there's some Don't like give antiquated me this fucking gearless propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> there's some there's a uh, it's it's wild, man. Uh, you see these videos of uh. They go, the new Tesla hit 60 in 2.7 seconds or something now. Like at the top, it's like 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. That's insane. I, I, without, like, I, first of all, they got the great tires. Like, it has to have a really good tire on it, right? And uh, then, and then how much weight? Well, the weight probably helps it because it's distributed pretty good because I know. The chassis of the the vehicle is pretty much essentially the bottom of the car is the entire battery, yeah, and it's distributed. Probably heavy as fuck. Yeah. Heavy as fuck. Oh yeah. I heard there's also like a tax write off you could get for making your vehicle like some kind of commercialized or business moto mobile or there's like some weird tax bracket for, thing. There's that, a tax bracket for making your car a business mobile. Yeah, or like some kind of business. <laughs> if it has, if it exceeds a certain amount of weight. What if it's backwards? Can you get a tax <laughs> break <laughs> on one? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Does your Bra- mileage go backwards too? Yeah. Yeah, what's a mileage like on a Tesla? It's like, is it, did they go by mileage or by like Probably watts? Battery life. That you, yeah, battery life. I'm sure the batteries. Yeah, definitely. And before, yeah, because when you recharge, like yeah. recharge and go down, recharge. Like our tow motors are electric, and they're pretty old, and they're still truck, and they fucking last a long time. Yeah, but they probably replace the battery in that son of a bitch every once in a while. Tow motors, forklifts. What I don't know what you want to call it. Forklift operating machine, tow motor machine. Let's talk about. Let's have a tools that have multiple names podcast. <laughs> is, is that a wrench or is it a spanner? Is that a? <laughs> a lot of times people, what it is like the crescent wrench isn't really. It's just an adjustable wrench, but crescent was a name brand, kind of like Xerox machine, oh, like the Tylenol oh, go on the, or, or the or the jacuzzi. A jacuzzi isn't. It's just a bubble, a uh, whirlpool, right? Or not a whirlpool. That's a brand. It's just a hot tub, pretty it is much. A hot tub, and a jacuzzi is a brand, and now everybody just calls all hot tubs jacuzzis. Man, I don't know if people have been throwing around jacuzzi as much. No, recently. yeah, I think it's fading. I think it's fading yeah. away, dude. Last um, time, yeah. I think about the last time somebody was telling you about a hot tub. They said hot tub, didn't they? they didn't say <laughs> probably. 
The Just time like, traveling hot tub or whatever that yeah, is called. Hot tub time machine, yeah. yeah. God damn it. Let's have a Hollywood <laughs> fucking sucks at their job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just making dumb shit. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> Recycling shit. <laughs> Let's bring back, you know, uh, Scream 5, it, all the cast were their old as fuck. Oh, yeah, they're doing that for real, yeah, aren't I know. they? I uh, know. I'm looking forward to Matrix 4. That's going to be fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it lost me. The second one sucked because the, you know, the, that moment where they just love the CGI they, and they used it any bit they can. And it, it just turned into a cartoon. And uh, I think you're underestimating how much they use CGI now. Well, like, they just got better at it. Well, they've gotten so good at it that. They use it for everything. They use it for things you don't think are CGI. Yeah, they it's like it the for, sets. Yeah, the set. Oh, that car, that normal looking car is not even there. It's yeah. not that. It's a they. Yeah, they use it in ways that for just normal shit. Now, right. But the Walking Dead did that a lot. Mm-hmm. That's where I learned about it from. Well, The Walking Dead fits firmly into Hollywood's fucking. St- Stupid, terrible at their jobs. Yeah. Pod storyline sucks. Can we just say, thank God it's over? <laughs> it's it's never over. over. It's about to be. It's never over. They're spinning off eight shows out oh, of it. Jesus. They're going to make a show about just the kids. It's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be the, the kid, zombie zombies. The, the, the ones that die to become zombies. No, it's going to be all the children actors from The Walking Dead are going to get their own show. And it's going to be The Young Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna fuck it's gonna be the worst thing and they're gonna it, it's it's never gonna die it's 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 the walking dead that's yeah. the that's the that's it's the show that never ends it's it the show on and that on never ends I was it goes thinking on thing. and on my friends you know what guys we yeah. should do the segment no um we do do the the, the top memes which is we kind of a that. running thing just so long as we acknowledge one more time the Walking Dead, man. That's Jesus. The first Christ. the first season was good. Did you like it? Yeah, yeah, enough. I liked it up till like the Negan crap that just wouldn't end. I like, That's when we stopped watching. I liked it. I liked well, it. the the zombies are are really good. The, the first, walkers. The walkers. Yeah, you don't you don't call them zombies in a zombie movie. <laughs> Yeah, because nobody's ever seen a zombie movie in zombie movies. Right. It's <laughs> the way it goes. But I just, man, it's 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 some of the worst shit I've ever seen in my life. I've seen bad shit. I saw the Legend of Var or what? Or oh, yeah, the Kingdom was, of Var. The, king, the leg, the Kingdom of Var. Yeah. Uh, the Walking Dead's worse. That, <laughs> like, I can't. It's worse than Kingdom of Var. Yeah, because well, no. I thought Kingdom of no. R. Here's actually here's what I wanted to do with you. Talk about bad movies, which we should talk about bad movies that are like so bad they're good. Not Sharknado bad. I'm talking about shit nobody even knows about. Kingdom of R. Might- Sharknado isn't in that category because it's, it's self-aware. Purpose- it's it's purposely. purposefully. Uh, yeah. Have you ever watched Desert Kickboxer? Desert Kickboxer sounds fantastic. Couldn't even tell you who's in it. Seen it. Mario Van Peebles. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Is he the Man. guy with the big face? No, he has a flat top in New Jack City, though. <laughs> but so does everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think. Here's what's going on, guys. It's two thirty in the morning right now. We're podcasting. Oh, we can do that after dark podcast. Yeah, this is the after dark. Uh, we. Uh, I'm going at the pee. And I'm just gonna let it roll, and you guys talk, uh, Maggie. You, I mean, you could. You don't have to go anywhere. I'm gonna pee. You guys talk amongst yourselves, and I'm gonna pee. And this is how it goes, guys. Uh, for the late night podcast, <laughs> what's really funny is it all gets uploaded to Spotify, and it it it, it probably shouldn't, <laughs> <laughs> and it does anyway. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Fun box, guys. But yeah, I'll be right back. So, don't threaten us. Let's turn this into a "Why the Walking Dead is the garbage shit" <laughs> podcast. Because that shit is so fucking I'll garbage. Rob out. Like, it's really hard to get over the bad actors 
and the bad dialogue and everything. You hated it from the start. But what really, what kept me watching and also kept me hating it was the fucking irrationally fucking outrageously stupid shit that they would make people do. Yeah. And and try to trick me into thinking that that's a, a fucking thing anybody would ever do, ever. Is it was that's what kept me. Wa- there was this one fucking time, I'll never forget it in that show, where they were trying to fucking steal a wagon. Did you did you happen to see that? This, this might have been past when, when you don't stopped know. watching. It could so be. like eventually, they get to the point that they're like, oh, we don't have gas to run the cars anymore. And number one, just make go make go make some gas. <laughs> Like nobody's or, smart enough, right? Like you could <laughs> the factory, everything's there. Got your resources. People make you can make ethanol and shit. You can make alternative. Anyways, they're like we ran out of gas, so you know we don't use cars anymore. And this one season opens up where they fucking like because they were in like the Washington D.C. area. They go to a museum that has a fucking pioneer covered wagon in it from the 1800s and they went to that museum to steal that wagon to bring back to the community because they needed it because they didn't have cars anymore they couldn't like build one motherfucker go to the tractor supply or, store yeah <laughs> there <laughs> you can have all the tractors there's a a fucking thousand <laughs> Goddamn, co- why are you stealing this 1800s covered? And people died in this museum. It's Oregon Trail. While they were trying to steal this old ass fucking broke down wood wheel wagon. And you just oh, go get a fucking. Man. Yeah. Where are they getting the go gas? Go get a wagon. They just prolong shit. Did they just siphon the... gas out of old vehicles? Well, I was, I was, t- I was saying they, they don't. They were like, this It was at the point of the show where they were like, oh, all the. The gas is all gone. We don't have gas for vehicles anymore. So we need a fucking wagon. But man, just go get a wagon. Just nobody looted Tractor Supply Co. <laughs> or John <Nobody's>, Deere. <laughs> nobody stole all the flatbeds from John Deere. Like they're just <laughs> still fucking sitting there. And I don't know why everybody's wearing like the same raggedy ass clothes all the fucking time. There's got to like, be clothes years. stores. Go to J.C. Penny. Like you could have all the cl- you can have fifty of the same shirt today. Yeah, you can have a fresh pair of underwear every Nobody day. Nobody was looting the <laughs> J.C. Penny shirts when the zombies were going down. They were trying to get some food and bullets and shit and out. But now, now just go to a J.C. Penny. They never go to a J.C. Penny. <laughs> They're always like fucking around in some little house or something, like looking for puddings. <laughs> 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 Go get some clothes. <laughs> Fuck, they're still yeah. good. Who cares what the style is? It's out. Right. It's out. It's I, <laughs> so the apocalypse happened in fall, and that's all they got. You know, <laughs> cut, cut the sleeves. <laughs> cut, to cut them sleeves. Quit wearing that fucking stank ass zombie blood clothes <laughs> you've been wearing for five years. Right. That shit. That's what kept me watching <laughs> and okay. makes me hate it. Mm hmm. Yeah, we stopped. I think around yeah, Negan crap. Like the Negan you, thing after you that, you think uh, it's going to end, and it fucking doesn't. Yeah, just the same like, old run Jesus, around. Jesus, kill that, him! And that he shit, had I, so many chances to kill him. Um, whatever his name, Rick. He had so many chances. There was yeah. Well, Rick, the for like the entire time, Rick is just on heroin. He just <laughs> doesn't even have dialogue. He's just sweating <laughs> profusely, <laughs> bug eyed like intensely freaking out about situations right. <laughs> or hallucinating his dead <laughs> wife or something that, that dude his sucked. Kid. i don't know why everybody kept following him he just he was the worst he uh, and then he went to that one uh commune or whatever and it was he screwed him up they were fine until he arrived, and next thing you know, he has to kill like one of the leaders. Well, because he couldn't talk, he just kept hair. Just 
white eye heroin fucking sweating. And then the chick from Deep Space he Nine. Sucked, he was, was fucking his hairdo was sweat. It was <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Coral. Oh, I I remembered oh, another guy. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I remembered another goddamn wagon stealing incident that wasn't them stealing a fucking wagon. It was they uh, they went to a building that's basement was flooded, but they thought there were some supplies in this flooded basement's building, or in this building's flooded basement. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if it was food or what the fuck. They thought there was something down there that they needed, and they were like eight to ten people deep, and they just jumped down into the flooded basement through a hole. They weren't being chased. There wasn't zombies around. (sighs) They Why were just, be- they were out looting and stuff. And they were like, oh, we need this shit from this fucking basement. And so all of them, like eight of them, jumped down a hole into this flooded basement and then proceeded to get attacked by flood zombies in the basement. <laughs> of course. But the whole time I was tripping out, I was like, y'all can't for real find, take 15 minutes out and go get like a ladder or ropes or right. like. I don't a plank of wood. Yeah, does it or not think of fucking an exit anything strategy? than just blindly jumping yeah. into the flooded fucking oh, building God. basement? How do you not just that, creating that drama? Just yeah, a rope. <laughs> <laughs> a ro- send one person in first. <laughs> right? Anything, anything that any normal person. Normal yeah. people just don't jump down that no. fucking hole. No. no, you gotta think it out. <laughs> right, it's the apocalypse. The one, one more thing of what pissed me off was what's his name with the fucking tiger. Like, oh Jesus! Like, that's, there's no that's way. Like cartoonish. There's no way. And then what? Did you see the tiger die? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> tiger so pissed. Really- the tiger pissed me off because. Super CGI'd. <laughs> oh yeah, number they, one. Yeah, they have bad CGI in that show. Do you remember the CGI deer? Yeah, the oh, deer. Yeah. <laughs> the deer. Yep. Why couldn't they just That's use terrible. a tiger? Like, for, it, I don't know. What did the tiger do that was so special that a regular tire tiger couldn't have done? Nothing. It just laid down yeah. and got it, eaten by two zombies. It <laughs> obeyed its master. Maybe, maybe like, it, when the tiger gets good, eaten, like put some CGI in there. But like. The whole thing, the whole tiger character thing, so unrealistic. I know, and, I know, it's a zombie he, show, but it's what still... was it? The the guy he was, the, what was he called? The dude that with the dreadlock? Did he have dreadlocks? I don't know. Uh, yeah. the, the king, king the is king. The king. He was yeah. king, and then it came to show is like I'm only king because people want me to be the king, and and it was like, no, you're a, you're like a a cartoon character. Are you a rock star during the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> What were you before this? <laughs> you you have like a style, and then there's like a style that happens with like arm pads and. Nah, man, for real, you got to leave that hockey equipment back at <laughs> back at base for the hockey game. You can't, <laughs> you can't be out there in that. You look dumb. <laughs> like, at least look cool in the apocalypse. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, I guess Get so. A duster. Or a that's the thing I like about <laughs> anti. Spiked. The thing I like about oh, Antifa. Right. That's what I. That's why I like Antifa because uh, that's actually a good Halloween costume I wanted to do. Is dress up like Antifa and get like a, a trash can and cut it in half and make a shield out of it with like an like a I don't know an Antifa sign on it and like the whole getup of it is like cool. Like imagine like being one of these guys that's like gonna, gonna go out in the streets and protest and. Uh, dress up dude that's got to be fun as fuck to put on your knee pads oh, and elbow yeah. pads and your face but i mean this is the zombie apocalypse you don't need to like everybody's dead go to the military base get real right. equipment why are you wearing hockey fucking pads that are too small for you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see why Probably because they don't know where it is don't and know. don't have their GPS systems. <laughs> but I mean, just, there was a whole. All right, uh, um, when they were going to Alexandria, so so they were all in the south for a long time at the prison and stuff, and then uh, they started traveling north because dude was like, "Oh, we got to go to Washington D.C." Yeah. Uh, but it turned out he was a liar. Yeah. And they end up finding exa- oh, Alexandria dude, yeah. up there. I fucking hate that. So. <laughs> 
on the whole like plot Eugene, point. Right? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Eugene. Yeah. The whole plot point while they're traveling there is uh it's like for episodes is that they don't ha- that they're running out of water. They don't have any water and then that one character who ends up being the gay guy um he he keeps dropping water off for him in the middle of the road and he's the one that's like, "Oh, we have this community Alexandria. I've been giving you water. Come back with us to Alexandria." Mm-hmm. My point is is they walked across the whole they walked across like five states and couldn't find a fucking river. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? Like just get a map. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just get a map. They have the rivers on there. <laughs> and just go you to guys, one of those. You guys know yeah. way more about the show than I do. Fucking, <laughs> how are you so desperate? It's all coming back to me now. Yeah. You're that this mm-hmm. fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> Worst kid actors ever in fucking shows. Coral. 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 Those, the two fucking girls that Carol murdered. Oh my God. I Man, know. I was just so fucking happy that those yeah. kids were dead. Just look at the flowers. The worst, pow, pow, yes. worst fucking kid actors. <laughs> Ain't it? I, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, that show. Rob doesn't remember much. I don't remember too much about that show. I, uh, I I the only thing I loved about that is the the zombies looked really cool. It, they it they did well. Cool. I mean that even fell off. Like they 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 started doing less effort on that. Glenn hit under the fucking dumpster. Yeah, sorry, I, it's not anything about the zombie that just popped into my head. That motherfucker was under a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Like the zombies couldn't get him down there. <laughs> You're right. What? Well, he got got anyways. Yeah, he did. He deserved it. <laughs> A lot of people. Glenn would was disagree. the. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Glenn was the Asian guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Maggie. Yeah, Maggie. Maggie just left the show in between seasons. Oh, did she? Yeah, in between. I I don't know. Like, I'm sure it was well, like a. She was pregnant, wasn't thing. she? Or what happened? Yes, she had. She was pregnant, and then like she became like the leader of the hilltop town. Oh, okay, yeah. And then something happened with her contract or something. But in between seasons, she's like built up, becomes the leader of the place. It's like her and that Jesus guy. And then the next season starts, and they're just like, "Oh yeah, she went to Georgia." What the fuck? <laughs> and just, just they couldn't properly kill since. her off or something. No, like, they just said, "Oh, she went to Georgia." Fucking Hollywood, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. I'm, so yeah, I'm I'm all for man. The Hollywood's fucking. It's weird. just like Adult Swim. Like there's so, there's like shows are so good. Hey, this this slaps. Let's fucking cancel it. Yeah. <laughs> like. What yeah. the hell, man? Just all right. Don't cliffhangers. All right, cool. Yep. Venture Bros. And last season of Venture Brothers. Where's oh. that last season of Metalocalypse, Rob? Yeah. Dude. Why aren't you writing your congressman? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> God damn it, For you guys. Real. You guys are stealing. The, you guys are doing a good job. I'm not even talking at all <laughs> right now. <laughs> and I don't have a camera for Maggie, which who is on the field right now. She's not even here, actually. Right out in the field in Hollywood. In Hollywood, <laughs> in Hollywood, getting those scoops. Yeah, get a Hollywood sound. <laughs> <laughs> What's Hollywood sound like? It, like <laughs> crunching heroin needles or something <laughs> like under your feet. I don't know. It's pooping in the streets. <laughs> well, my background sounds are delayed right now because. I heard the governor of fucking New York was trying to get people to stay there. A lot of people are, like, leaving New York right now because of this goddamn pandemic, right? Or whatever the fuck it is. I don't even know what... A pandemic. What's that definition of a pandemic? Is it... Well, it has to be pan. Pan. It has to be demic. Demic. Right. I'm outside. (laughs) <laughs> those are <Traffic>. cars <laughs> on the hollywood strip it's super yeah. right here by the stars on the ground part on the sidewalk we got we got maggie on on scene you can't see her right now but how's everything it's, going down in hollywood it's a shit show 
You, you hear people moving, but nobody's really moving. <laughs> so, there any, there's no movies uh, being shot, nothing, just a lot of traffic. Uh, no, not really. How's that Hollywood sign look? Good? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, Any uh, information on the upcoming Highlander reboot? <laughs> That somebody's got to be making soon. <laughs> it's so hard to get this soundboard going. It, we keep peeking <laughs> and pe- popping, but it, I don't know. Who knows how it's going to sound? I'm I'm excited about the Highlander reboot that somebody's going to make eventually. Oh, there could only be one. <laughs> so the whole thing was, is Highlander a superhero? Highlander is an alien. Is he? Yeah. Well, once you get to Highlander 3. That's when they end up b- being aliens. Okay. Or, well, from a different planet. I just got downtown. <laughs> <laughs> She's downtown right now. <laughs> downtown Hollywood. Any information on that upcoming Are You Afraid of the Dark remake? Yeah. I think it's a possible go. Confirmed, 100%. They should make... I was talking about... They should make... I gotta get in the car. Uh, are, are you afraid of the dark <laughs> remake for like PG 13, maybe? You know? And they should make. Yeah, young teens. Yeah, young teens. And then they should make uh, Tales of the Crypt R. Oh, yeah. Hard R. Hard R. Tales from the yeah. Crypt. Yeah. On Hulu. Oh. Oh. Who's fucking makes trash? Do they? <laughs> yeah. We just got it because I canceled my Netflix account. Man, I just watched a good movie on Netflix. Was it Cuties? <laughs> no, that's a series, Rob. I would have said series. No, that's not a series. It's Is a it a movie. movie? It's a movie, yeah. Man. Okay, I don't want to talk about Cuties. No. <laughs> I ain't going to give it any credit. <laughs> well, no, apparently, though, the story was that it... it no, I, it, I, was, the, it was also uh, I talked about it last episode, so I can't talk about it anymore. <laughs> I've already exhausted that well, episode. The real story, though, it's it's like an anti uh, child pageant documentary. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Uh, don't diddle kids. Yeah, don't and don't watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, Frank, but uh, Frank's beauties. Remember that fucking episode of It's Always Sunny. Yeah, he gets a mortician oh, yeah. to do his fucking makeup. Yes. <laughs> Dude, uh uh Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh whatever happened to uh that one girl uh John Benet Ramsey? <laughs> is she dead? <laughs> There's a conspiracy I heard that Katy Perry is actually her. <laughs> uh, that's news to me. I never I'm heard of that. <laughs> I've I've heard that conspiracy. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to, all right, uh, we, uh, you know, we, uh, we've been doing this for now, <laughs> almost an hour, <laughs> almost an hour of without any, who wants, w- yeah. who wants to be a millionaire podcast yeah. without any, let's do a who million, who wants to be a millionaire podcast, who wants to be <laughs> dude, who doesn't want a thousandaire, <laughs> I, I want to do the meme, the top all 10 right. memes. All right. Uh, we have to get that in. We have to get that in. But we could keep going as long as possible, and this could be another just trash uh, podcast for you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys like trash. I lived in a trailer for seven years. And, Oscar uh, the Grouch. And uh, I don't know if you guys know what it's like to have no hot water, but some people don't even, the like, people in uh, Flint, Michigan don't know what it's like to have water at all. But uh, That sucks. Yeah, which is actually a, a funny thing. You should uh, what they should do is somebody should bottle Flint water and sell it like this is Flint water. Nobody would buy it. Well, no, for it's a novelty product. It's not like to be oh. drank. I always thought a good novelty product would be you just take a shit and then put a keychain thing in the shit. And then cover that with clear epoxy, and it'd be like that's the sh- my key- I feel my like dog that's... ate my keys. No, shit. it's just poop for a keychain. <laughs> <laughs> but... 
But that I mean, like, that how sell. are you profiting off your poop today? You're not. You're not. <laughs> that would sell. You're paying other people to take it away for you. I know somebody that collected keychains growing up. Yeah. And like, I'm sure she would love to have a nice poop keychain. Think about it. You walk into the gas station, there's different Can you logs. fucking imagine yeah. that? <laughs> it, it would work. <laughs> it would work. Solid turd. <laughs> Dangling off your keychain. Yeah. Covered in clear oh, epoxy, so God. it's Re- preserved. It's pretty preserved properly. perfectly. <laughs> All right, let's do. <laughs> let's do. It. Let's do the "What's on Your Mind" segment. Um, I'll tell you what's on my mind. Uh, making some money off, it, right? Poop. Off the poop. <laughs> I keep popping. I keep popping. Sorry, guys, if your headphones hurt. <laughs> uh, oh, all right, that. all right. What's on your mind? Uh, we'll go. Uh, um, Hit here we buttons. go. With your thumb on your phone and your ass on the couch. Take this pic and post it. Yeah. Your friends will put back because there's nothing to it. And Facebook asks you so. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Socialized in this network, it's the top 10 memes of the week. Well, this week we have 20 now. Yeah, part two. Because I had to do two podcasts. Episode 42, Jason Proctor and Tony. Uh... His uh his his old lady Tony, just gonna go roll roll with it, you know. And uh, now here's the other top ten. And I I grabbed all these from the Legion of Skanks Facebook page just because I was in a hurry <laughs> and had to do something. Yeah, we were at <laughs> bonfire. We were at a bonfire. I had to eat some tacos, so I, I you know I. I so these aren't really <laughs> kind the of top. phoned this one in. Yeah, these aren't really the top ten of the Facebook group page, but I think everybody. But it on, is ten. It is ten, and I think everybody on the face, which I have four hundred and thirty-five, four hundred and thirty something. Yeah, sounds about right. In the Facebook Fun Box Podcast Facebook group, it you- surpassed my friend's number on my own. Yeah, fucking profile. Like, it's kind of retarded. <laughs> it's retarded, but half of them don't even listen to the show. Hey, but I'm like, whatever. As long as the name is tagged onto it, well, I don't care. I don't care. It but keeps listen, it active. I guess keeps it active. Like, guys, listen to the show. Sometimes you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that, it is a po- podcast. Well, right? maybe once we finally nail down what your show is going to be about, <laughs> dude. It's so we. What is it? What am I doing? Um, what is the show know. about? Show We're trying to figure it out, man. We're Dude, trying to Holland, figure it out. Yeah, please help me. And I'm glad. So you're... far, it looks like it might be a Walking Dead. But it might be. <laughs> I'm talking about the dead. podcast. Cars. The podcast as a know. whole. The we don't even cars. know. But uh, here we go, guys. The top ten memes of the week. Uh, number ten. Oh, this is a good one. When you sneak <laughs> off to do a bump and then they find you. Oh man! I saw one that said when you sneak off to smoke weed. Like yeah. I'm not even laughing at the meme. I'm laughing about remembering. Hold on, yes, they sp- Gilbert Gray. Wait, Whale. They spelled <laughs> they wrong. Whale. What the fuck? That they they they. Fa- <laughs> I didn't even realize I that. Did. They. Oh man, when the mom got in the car and it all tilted to one side. <laughs> oh yeah. She was so big. Mommy's yeah, a whale. But, but I felt bad for everybody that she <laughs> was that the gas big. tank. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he did a... S- I used to say that all Dude, the time. How old, I don't know how old Leo was with this, but he nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they should do a What's Eating Gilbert Grape reboot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or What's Eating Gilbert Grape 2 and bring everybody back. Yeah. Johnny Depp <laughs> and and Leo and Leo yeah dude that's a good like six degrees to Kevin Bacon like movie like if you could go 
that's just like Leo and and fucking you know goddamn Johnny Depp together. Mm-hmm. You never see that ever again. Anyway, number nine. When your kid, <laughs> when your kid's school calls and suggests special ed, but you've been doing their homework for them. <laughs> 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 that's me that's gonna be me i hear they're doing a dark gritty reboot of fresh prince here's another reason why do not have kids so you don't get reassurance on how retarded you are right <laughs> when your kid brings their school homework back <laughs> right. oh, you're like shit i don't want to relive my nightmares of homework shit. <laughs> yeah. shit. one two three <laughs> fuck man. but you went to college it's like so an you- infinite sides <laughs> to this shape <laughs> God damn dude i would be uh dude that's me number <laughs> number eight when you try to help the children in need but end up getting roasted instead <laughs> oh god damn <laughs> Uh, that's a good one because we all know chinese people are racist right uh, <laughs> if he's chinese no he looks philippine no i don't know that's a that's 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 a deep issue uh it's, it's so uh, fucked up yeah, it's, uh, you know um uh that's pretty hilarious though I like. It. I He's think, the, like, or it could be really sad. We I don't, think th- we don't really. Well, know the, the what's sad is those sure. kids don't have uh, enough resources. And but the Chinese might be giving them the resources, or he might be stealing them. China's been doing a lot of infrastructure work in Africa. They're they're kind of like back door with a lot of money and highways taking over countries in Africa. Are they like conquesting over? Are they like? Well, in a, a modern way, yeah. as in they're 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 giving loans to oh, African okay. countries and building infrastructure, <clears throat> building highways and electrical systems, which by all means is a good thing. But also through history, there's been some real bad ramifications when you take a bunch of loans from another country, and they, uh, you know, you, get, you ever watch that movie with uh, Owen Wilson? Whoa! No, oh, no! Wow! Wow! Owen Wilson, There's him and his family Shanghai go. Shanghai Nights. No, he, he they go to that I did city. See Shanghai Nights. They go. He's a he's like a, a CEO or some kind of like businessman for like a water company, and he goes through the city to Aaron like, Brockovich. I don't know. I know uh, uh, Pierce Brosnan is in it as well. 007. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they uh, he ends up they don't they try to kill him because he's like part of this in some like activist group in this country takes over and tries to slaughter all these people and he's like running for his life and as soon as he gets to cambodia he's free it, it was a rough movie but oh, it was pretty was good it enemy at the gate where Maybe. owen wilson ejected no out idea. of an airplane no it wasn't that one i don't know anyway number seven <laughs> number seven whoa wow. where'd i go this is a complicated all right uh, multiple choice questions be like is this guy in the picture below armed or unarmed? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say unarmed. <laughs> I'm just going to say unarmed. He's not grabbing that gun. No. I'm I'm gonna leave it blank and I'm try gonna, to circle gonna, back around at the end of the test when I check my answers. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed gonna, to do that. Do, do you know? Do, do you know the Abigada the Abadaba Abigad the Abadaba concept worked for me in the math category of my proficiencies and I passed. Abadaba, um, just Abacadaba, Abacadaba. You just picked A B A C A B A C B, and I just went through the whole test. Abacadaba for my math. That. I did. I passed. It's probably the worst advice anybody ever gave you. Don't do that. But I passed. <laughs> <laughs> out, of, out of sheer luck. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm sheer just saying. Sheer luck. Dude, Rob, there's a you're lot. You're supposed of... to eliminate the obvious wrong answers and then work backwards. Oh, I know. From the remaining. Dude, it was Come math, dude. I didn't want to do it. 
Yeah, but you should eat. You eat I was in eighth grade. Are you going to tell me that I'm going to be serious about anything? And then the people that are, are way more successful than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> number, number six. When you told him you're a squirter, but you're just peeing on him because you're too lazy <laughs> to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> You got to deal with a bigger mess. That's, uh, okay. that's, um, I don't uh, feel Margot Robbie. Yeah. A uh, very, very sexy lady. Yeah. Who happens to be in a couple bad movies and a couple good movies. Wolf of Wall Street was gangster. Good movie. Uh, Suicide Squad. Not mm. so good. Eh. Will Smith was kind of cool in that, though. I thought, I, I just, I don't know. I like the shooter guy. What's his name? They're making a new Suicide Squad directed by James Gunn. I don't know if you know who James Gunn is. I heard the name. James Gunn did the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Uh, he started his career as uh, working with Troma. Do you know what Troma films mm-hmm. are? No. Toxic Avenger? No. Not too familiar with that. Man, you need to get into your... I s- Dude, I'm uncultured as fuck. He's not nerdy. Well, I'm nerdy and I'm actually not really. I'm super bimbo. I like fake tits. You are a valid sometimes. Girl, I'm just kinda. kidding. And I like uh, you like going to the mall. <laughs> I like, <going> <laughs> I like uh, uh, what do you? I don't know. I don't wear tap out shirts though. But uh, uh, when you eat cookies, you break off little pieces of them, put them in <laughs> oh, your mouth. God. You don't bite the cookie. I've done that. I've seen you. I've yeah. seen you. I was judging you while you were doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I, I would have too. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Hey, man, I'm my worst critic. I, I literally hate myself, guys. I don't feel like I'd fall. Back to this meme, I don't feel like I'd fall for that trick. Yeah. Like. No, you're that's just, pee. You just lay in there and start pissing, and then you're like, oh, I'm just... No. <laughs> <laughs> you're peeing yourself right now. I heard that most of most of the percentage of squirt is pee. It is. It is urine. Yeah, they just lose themselves. And... Yeah, it's just really diluted. <laughs> yeah, diluted urine, right? Anyway, number five. After dark. This is who is calling you a racist on the internet. <laughs> Black trans lives matter. That person does not have the internet. <laughs> no, he don't. Right? He, she, he. Uh, <laughs> oh, trans person. Uh, it's a trans person. I don't so know the weird bulges in the. Don't pockets. assume. Don't assume the gender. I'm. 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 I'm going to assume a man. Like right. I'm. I, I, I'm. I need to. I need to make a point about this picture here. Well, she wants to be a man, like, right? Or he wants to be a man. So. I don't I don't care about that. What I care about is how much shit is shoved in this person's pockets. Okay? <laughs> They're wearing like super skinny jeans and got all kinds of shit shoved in their pockets. Plus like but two bags. They're carrying two bags. Why didn't you yeah. put all that shit in the bags? Right. Why do That's you have true. all that shit stuck in your pockets like that while you're carrying bags? I yeah, can understand why if they the, didn't have any there's other a wire. option. Yeah, there's a wire going yeah, up I was to that. Just looking at that. Going what up it, to the... uh can you zoom in? Yeah, and that shit's not like a headphone wire. That's like a fucking extension <laughs> cord. I can't zoom in. I have deeper questions here than, than this person's political or gender yeah, identity. Yeah, put that shit in a bag. <laughs> right. Come on. That's a lot of shit in your pockets, man. <laughs> number, <laughs> number four! Oh, my gosh. Cops be like... I can't be racist. My wife has a black eye. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God damn. That dude is ripped. And it's kind of gross. You know, if you're experiencing domestic abuse, there's help for you out there. Please, please contact Yeah, call 1 800. Uh, or, or get, get, get real uh, help. Google. You don't have to be scared because he's a cop. There, there, are, there's people out there for you, <laughs> dude. I'm afraid of cops. <laughs> yeah, man, they'll they will take shoot you. you. Well, not me. I'm. 
Just still but, take uh, your money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying I'm afraid of anybody with a gun, really. And if I don't have one, I'm afraid of them. Anyway, number, <laughs> number three. You know, I love Prutrice O'Neal, dude. You know how you could tell how pretty a white woman is? You look at her, and then you wonder how long they would look for her if she was missing. <laughs> Dude, that's a Patrice joke. And he he's dead. God rest his soul. One of the best advocates of free speech, too. And I, this man is my, one of my favorite comics. Um, if there was a fifth place on my Rushmore of comedians, he'd but be on it. I have a technicality issue here. Is this really a meme? Oh no, it's a joke. Or is it just I think a this, still image? Yeah. Of a well, that's what joke. anything can be a meme, though. Can it? Yeah. Well, a meme. What is the definition of a meme? Huh. Person on the spot. She, she's in Hollywood right now. Out in Hollywood. Out in Hollywood. Shit, you know, like fucking get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got fat checking to do. <laughs> But, you know, Karen's so, in her goddamn SUV and won't get the <laughs> fuck out of the way. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, memes are, uh, it, it, we got in a, I got in a debate with Claire last night on what a meme was. Well, not a debate. <laughs> we're just trying to figure it out. You stupid bitch. Uh, <laughs> memes are, are, sorry, you got to watch out. Make sure you don't get hit by a car. I'm trying not to. Um, memes are the internet's um, in here. It's a an encompassing, like the beginning meme, the main meme that like one of the most one of the original memes back in World War II. There was the Kilroy lives meme, or I am Kilroy, or Kilroy was here, and it was I Russian. I think it might have been Russian, or it might have been American making fun of Russia. We don't know. Nobody knows where the meme came from. It was just uh, graffiti. Graffiti is like the main, the obey thing with uh It is a noun, an element of a culture or system of behavior that may be considered to be passed from one individual yeah. to another by a non-just genetic means, especially imitation or a humorous. So image, having a video, kid is not a meme. <laughs> no, it's not. A humor, a humorous image, video, piece of text, etc., and the, that is copied. And spread rapidly by internet users. So it has to be internet based, according to Pretty the official much. definition. Yeah. I uh I just I I I I guess it is a meme because it was made into a still image. Yeah. But I feel like it's riding the line. I feel like I feel like there's there's a portion of people that would say, Nope, that doesn't count. That's disqualified. Yeah. If this it, was an Olympic event. If there was like a different defin a different type of like I don't know, categories of memes, it would be in a different category, but I don't know anything like it's just a meme. It's just I I, I, I guess get it's it. just and in even if if this if the, if it was just this text, but it was a picture of a missing poster with a white woman on it. Like, I would solidly say that's a meme, even though it's just his joke. Right. But with just a picture of him with his joke on it, well, then I again, feel like well, falls into a... Well, there's no rules with memes, though. Oh, I there see. is. They're they're protected by the federal government, like Canadian <laughs> geese or prey amanises or whatever. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Number two. Excessive force in the front, <laughs> resisting arrest in the back. Is the, the oh god damn it! <laughs> what these bitches want from a nigga? <laughs> yeah, this is a a good one. I like this. He's on his way. Uh, he has to be at NASCAR Dude, by three o'clock. Those <laughs> and those the Bone Thugs concert at seven o'clock. <laughs> those glasses are definitely excessive force glasses. He's he's saying stop resisting, even though they're not resisting at all, for sure. I stop wish. resisting! <laughs> stop! Stop resisting! I'm not! I'm not! St- my arm's dislocated. My shoulder's out of its joint. Stop resisting! 
And then in the back, uh, he's uh, being like, What these bitches want from a nigga? All right. Uh, all right. This is the top meme of today's episode. Number one. Girlfriend leaves a breakup note on your race car saying this isn't working, but you start it up and it's fine. <laughs> Actually, I don't know why this is number one. <laughs> it's wholesome. It's very wholesome, sort of. In a misogynistic kind yes, of way. Misogynist. But it's Robert Downey, so like... It's okay. It's a, it's a wholesome misogyny. like Like him doing blackface. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's satire. Right? Yeah. It's working. Oh, here's a conversation. What is the difference between satire, which is... Actually, look up the definition of what satire is. It's it's a satin tire. A satin. A satin Satan. <laughs> it's a satin Satan. Hail Satin. <laughs> so what, you want to start the What is Satire podcast? Well, not really. But I, I feel like everything that I do is satire, but there's certain things that I do out but of spite. I do things out of spite, it's too. A, it's a specific. So if it's out of spite, is it, could you call it just spiteful? Yeah, that spite isn't satire. It's, it's not, not It's not satire, but it could just things. be out of spite. And it's not, it could. Robert it, Downey Jr. in blackface is satire because the joke and plot and story of the movie was about how it was wrong for him to be in blackface. Right. That, like, that's. Right. Why? It's and like not that's because how like, he was in black. Yeah, like it's uh, because the plot was he's right. In black right. Face. The um, but you could also do that in any aspect, though. You could say that that is your motive, no, no matter what. Um, could people ain't gonna buy that shit? And but you have to sell it though. Though you have to sell yeah, it right. If you're gonna do some some uh, mm. satire that's that right. That far, that it's edgy, about selling it. Properly. It has to be really good, <laughs> right? Right, it has to sell like, properly, and it's and like, it was, it was hilarious. Yeah, but that's why it wor- it wouldn't have worked if it wasn't hilarious, right? Because the plot was, it's hilarious, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a uh, it. There's a uh, who was I gonna mention? What was the? There was, uh, yeah, satire. Um, it's like out of spite. It says, the, yeah, what, yeah. What is the definition of the that? The formal definition of satire is the use of humor, irony, exaggeration, or ridicule to expose and criticize people's stupidity or vices. Yeah, Pretty that's much. a good. I like that. That I understand that, and that's what. Uh, I guess that's I. Yeah, it's satire. You expose the stupidity of it. Right. That's a good... I like that. Like, uh, um... Because you're not doing... Like, yeah, if you're Daily doing, Show or... If, if you're Show, on but, SNL uh, and you're doing Jimmy Biden Cohen. or Trump or something, that's satire. Yeah. Because you're not... They're up there doing an impersonation. Yeah. They're trying to point out the absurdities of the character with the humor. Not, right. They're not... Oh, they're not putting them in a situation... Right, but, right. I uh, but when you get to the, it is it is pointing out people's insecurities or or issues or problems in a way to try to make them understand it through the absurdity. But when you get into the deeper topics like racism and shit, you it has to be goddamn dead on. Yeah, right. You like, better I, know what you're doing. Yeah, I, what I like about uh, just like comedy. In general and or just even podcasting right now it's like i i'm still learning and i'm sure you're a you're you're a advocate for that of learning more right no like, i think maybe we should turn back the wheel a little bit <laughs> go backwards in the backwards truck 
Yeah. Well, I can always progress, right? <laughs> like, there's no way I'm going to be worse, right? I'm always going to get better and, like, learn more, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like I, 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 I'm always going to hope to try to get better because I love people. Yeah, but then it, you will because you surround yourself with good people and different types of people. But it could backfire, too. That's what's called, like, an echo chamber. Yeah. That's when you, you, you... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, You, you could get in the you wrong new, group. No new ideas. And you start bouncing around inaccurate ideas mm-hmm. too much. Um, you'll you'll saturate yourself with that. But if as long as you're... Well, what's cool, like, Holland, like, you hang out with me, and you know I'm a, a Nazi racist, for sure. Right. Like, obviously. You're Fourth Reich all day. Yeah, yeah. So it's like good for you for like trying to spread, you know, <laughs> like you're trying to like really g- grow your brain. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, and, and anytime we can go down to the we can go down to the library together. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna yeah. get. I'm, you have you ever read Mein Kampf? No, uh, me neither. No, yeah. I've never meant read that. Uh, that's not really my brother. My brother said uh, in episode forty, he, he he listened to a podcast called Mind Pump, Mind Pump, and he didn't hear the similarity to how that sounds like Mind Pump. <laughs> I'm like, dude, are they like super far right? He's like, no, they're like off the board. They're just meatheads that uh, talk about stupid bullshit that I don't agree with sometimes. And I'm like, yeah, sounds like mind comfort, dude. <laughs> sounds like a play on that. He's like, I didn't even think about that. Oh, no, no, it's really not. They, I don't even know. I've never read Mind Pump. Uh, or <laughs> <laughs> I have <haven't laughs> never mind pump. seen Mind Pump. I did see that group of Christian bodybuilders, though. Oh, yeah? Uh, what were they called? Fuck, they were super big in the 90s. It was, you know, the, the and they'd like tear phone books and shit. Oh man, it was like m- muscles for Christ or some shit. This is a real thing. They traveled the country, being muscle men, and tearing up phone books for Jesus. Never. Oh heard. yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. They look like American gladiators and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I okay. know. What you, okay, I know what you mean. A big stage. A lot of people go to that. Yeah, a lot of people. Dude, it's kind of wild, these, like, modern-day, like, evangelists. They get so much money. Yeah. So much money. Out there money. building stadiums and shit. Stadiums. And the thing is, it's like, wow. <laughs> they fucking ate the fucking Kool-Aid, dude. Dude, that many people, they they get, they round up, like, millions and millions of people yeah dude it, it, you know you know me i'm a guy of faith and i love god and jesus not that much but <laughs> no, <laughs> not that much That's dude, I, i'm just saying dude that is some um, cultish shit to me like as far as like oh yeah as far yeah. as like where the money is going and like all i'm saying is like in me personally i think I'm super community based. I think I, I, I honestly like tip all the time and like, like really like I, I tip my fast food workers when some, when, That's especially, not true. especially in, I don't either. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I should now, <laughs> but uh, I feel like convicted now. I feel bad. We shouldn't be tipping anybody. <laughs> People should be getting paid a fair wage. You're right. Yeah. Right. It's like everybody's talking about like, uh, uh, the economy sucks and like uh, people are poor. It's like, well, nobody's ever talking about like, because they're not getting paid enough at all. <laughs> like, at all. But, uh, uh, yeah, man, it, this, it, yeah, dude, this world really does like, you could like get sucked into how shitty things are. And I'm just glad uh, if I was a poor person, I'd rather be poor here or somewhere in this. Well, trust country. me, poor people are still upset about how fucking shitty The Walking Dead is. Like, yeah, yeah, they they fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got it. 
They got they got Netflix. Some of them did. <laughs> poor people. All I gotta say is poor people got fucking Netflix somewhere. We are poor people, Rob. We are poor people. That I don't feel poor though. Yeah, but I am. I probably am though. But we are because of the 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 aristocratic uh, russians or chinese somebody (laughs) somebody's running it's somebody's fault (laughs) it's not mine (laughs) it's not mine dude all i gotta say yeah we didn't not my reason i don't have enough money (laughs) yeah we didn't do it it is definitely somebody else we didn't do it (laughs) let's let's uh start the the fucking wealth inequality podcast where we where we get to the bottom of, of it yeah we <laughs> dig through the numbers and it's a strange game man it's uh i i really don't even know much about it so i can't talk about it the what i'm learning is i don't know enough to really even talk about like most things most things yeah yeah that's why this podcast exists <laughs> it's called maybe we should talk about this podcast is uh knuckleheads in the news yeah yeah that's <laughs> knuckleheads a, that's a one of five news. that's a one of five point seven <laughs> segment actually <laughs> Knuckle, it, it is mm-hmm. it's a one of five point seven uh segment that they got called knuckleheads in the news um but i'm talking about knuckleheads in the world society i'm a knucklehead guys don't take my word for anything i'm just talking it's my own opinions and they change sometimes so get used to it man (laughs) and that's the truth i mean not all opinions are made are created equal not at all (laughs) not at all dude everybody can have their own but that doesn't mean that your opinion ain't stupid as fuck. Right. <laughs> but but what's good about an opinion, it it don't matter if it's stupid or smart, it's still just an opinion. It's an opinion. But also we can ignore your opinion. Yeah, exactly. Ignore it, guys. If you don't <laughs> like it, don't just ignore it. I'm not indoctrinating anybody. Let's start an indoctrination podcast <laughs> where, we, where Dude, we we choose a different group each week and try to convince people right why they should join. Oh, I want to do uh, talk about the movie. Um, I wanted to, I want to run through and we can commentate on this video. A movie called Desert Kickboxer. All right, it's because bad, I haven't seen this. It's a bad. I'm movie. assuming Mario Van but Peebles this, is in it. I I just think everybody needs to experience this, like I did when I was a kid. It was my favorite movie as a kid, Ooh. and nobody knows about it. It was like kind of like a spinoff of Kickboxer, when, of Kickboxer, <laughs> but then it's like you know going playing off that karate aspect. I want to play. Let's say. I'm going to play a movie. I'm going to play a clip that of of this movie and like maybe some fighting scenes or best scenes of Desert Kickboxer. And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, Pure fight scenes. Isaac Florentine. Desert Kickboxer 1992. John Florentine. All right. Here we go. This is a good one. This might give us a good. I don't want to see pure fight scenes. I want to see the goddamn trailer, bro. Oh, you want to see the trailer? I want to know. I want to see the invo- emotional investment and shit before Desert. people get kicked. All right. Kickboxer trailer. Yeah. Don't spell it with an O. <laughs> <laughs> he was a champion. A kickboxer who hung up his gloves and returned to his ancestral home. (laughs) Only to find the land and his people (laughs) by the local drug lord. So I confiscated his money. How much money are we talking about? (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ. Spread the word. Uh, 
$50,000 to anyone who brings her back to me. No matter what happens, stay here. Whoa! Love this movie! Whoa! Is that some Mad Max Warriors? No. <laughs> it will take all the skills of his forefathers. God damn And his skills as a fighter. Wow. To get revenge. <laughs> so this this <laughs> white dude's ancestral home yeah. <laughs> embraces the uh, Native American <laughs> desert kickboxer. <laughs> dude, I never Rotten seen Tomatoes the, gives it a sixty nine percent. I never Ooh. seen the trailer for this. Well, here we go. Here's like the. Uh, the loudest scene in the movie. And this is the beginning. He gets uh he's uh, actually a kickboxer. Oh. oh shit. See that sweep? So this guy uh I'm sure there's flashbacks to this all yeah, throughout all, the whole Yeah, exactly. It, it is. You're right. One hundred percent right. I know how they do this shit. Yeah. This is his like fuel. Right. Badass. Badass. I'm talking about when you're nine years old. The bet most badass shit ever. Oh my god. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> Absolutely sucks. The worst movie probably ever. No, bro. No. <laughs> A minute and forty five seconds ago. You <laughs> that's not that's an illegal move. <laughs> I hate it when motherfuckers <laughs> flip me over like that. Yeah. Grab my arm. Uh, here's the okay. Alright, this guy that he's about to fight is like the boss's Kung, like karate, like fighter guy that oh, yeah. Yeah, does his terminator. dirty work. The real like term, like he, like yeah. he's like, I got you. But it's so any time in the movie where the actual boss isn't isn't a, a is a is like an old fat white man, right? They that can't be in the final fight. Yeah, it's the it, it it's everybody knows common goddamn trope. It's the guy. It's the Terminator you called in. Yeah. It's the. It's the. I I, I know the character. Yeah. I got you the, know character. the character. I got. The, he doesn't really have a character other than he's the, the super badass guy. Yeah. That that you got to get through. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> While in a suit. <laughs> pure fight scenes. So we got the pure fight scenes. Maybe Punched we should. In the dick. Maybe we should watch a uh, full movie. Scenes. That's the full movie. Final fight. Listen, I'm gonna. Let's just do the final fight. Just pick the full movie and fast forward to minute forty-five, and let's watch. No. We'll do the final fight. Of it. Well, okay, we'll do the Let's final do fight. The final fight because I kind of want to know. All right, the final fight. Hawk, right. Hawk I'm assuming is our. Desert I'm not kickboxer. going to even tell you because I I've watched the movie many times, and there's no plot for me to really explain. Uh, there's a girl in it that he loves. Her dad. <laughs> gets, she doesn't really have a character. Her dad ends up getting killed by the guy that's in the final. She fight. She probably gets raped. Oh yeah, for sure. I it mean, was, well, uh, no, we're not. I don't think it shows it, or like it, it may be implied in the movie right. at some point. But uh, that's that's just how all these movies work. Yeah. Well, well, the final fight is so the boss, the main boss, is already dead at this point. So this so is probably the, against 
So now, in a sense, this is the main protagonist, or uh, not protagonist, but the antagonist going to fight the main character at the end. In the desert. In the desert, because he knows kickboxing. And desert. And he's in the desert. That's why it's the desert kickboxer. Two things. The most badass shit ever when you're nine. Like Desert Strike. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Here we go. The what final about, scene of Desert Kickboxer. Is there a, uh, a polar kickboxer? <laughs> a nuclear kickboxer? <laughs> this is the classic, let's throw our guns down, mano a mano. This shit. Right. Not that kickboxer would have had a gun. He fights with honor. Yeah. <laughs> this is good, guys. He's wearing slacks, his shirt's still tucked in. <laughs> the, sound the sound effects, the sound effects. Let's listen to that again. Let's listen to that sound effect. I really, really listen to this right now. Why does this need to happen? I'm going to close my eyes. One more time. <laughs> I, just, I just love that. I, don't, I can't help it. Okay. Lesson number one. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even kick him. Didn't even kick him. Is he gonna? Remember? You guys see that? You guys see that kick? He, no, nobody's kicked uh, anybody. Nobody's kicked anybody. <laughs> There's been zero contact this whole time. <laughs> Spit on. But a lot of mean mugging. What Where is that guy is now? <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Flexing hard, dude. Yeah, flex. So, uh, are you ready for lesson number two? Why is he wearing a blue shirt under a white? I knew he was going to spit. I called it. Real piece of shit. Speaking to you. Remember a lesson that's, from your past yeah, already. Yeah, that's where he got he got spat on by that other kickboxer in that. Yeah, like the remembering, like what? You'll see. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Yeah, he knows. Fucking orchestra swell sucks. (laughs) Oh, right. Oh, Oh, scissor takedown. Oh, scissor. Leg drop him. Leg drop him. Scissor kick. This guy's kind of a glass Joe. He's really, he's really only been kicked about four times now. <laughs> oh, shit. You spit out blood? Yeah, there we go. That was like a tooth. But his teeth are so fine. Oh, you saw that coming from a mile away. All that rage opens you up for the sweep. Oh, because he's a good guy and he doesn't want to kill him, right? No, because he's having an orgasm. Uh, that's the end? Go F yourself. Deep. Well, that's where the fight stopped. They, they hugged it out after that. And then they fucked. But that's the, you know, that's Desert Kickboxer. Here's a training montage. I had enough of this dude. Oh, God damn it. It's Desert Kick. Guys, it's Desert Kickboxer. Well, yes. Yes, it and is. And it's the greatest movie ever. Shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, it's, it's well. Okay. No. Uh, when you're nine. Okay, no. There's way better movies beat, when you're are, nine. Well, yeah, beat. like you could have watched like Three Ninjas Kick Back or something. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> that was a good one. That's dumb movie. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, B9. Rocky Colt. Tum tum. 
when you're watching this, just be nine. I was nine once, man. I was there, and I feel like or ten. I feel like or eleven. I I feel like at nine years old, I would have realized that man, I got ripped off <laughs> at Broadway Video. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody sold me on some bullshit, <laughs> and now this is the the movie that I rented. For the I got a funny weekend. story about Broadway Video. <laughs> there was a gumball machine, and every now and then there was a gumball that said "free video." Free yeah, movie. man. Yeah. Um, sorry, mom, but you fumbled the ball on this. Uh, your, <laughs> your kids don't know things, and you that you should know. Uh, that free video didn't mean you own the video. <laughs> it means you're. It's a free, free rental. rental. Yeah. So you're like, I get to keep Desert Kickboxer There's forever. A, and then my mom <laughs> believed that. Oh well, it wasn't God. Desert Kickboxer. I don't know what movie it was, but when we went back to rent another video, oh, they're no. like, "Oh, you have one outstanding, you know, video." Late she was bees. like, "No, I own she's like, I Madison own, County forever. I own that. The gumball machine <laughs> says free video. <laughs> you didn't read the the small the, print. They the don't book. have small print <laughs> at Broadway Video. It had to be on the gumball. It, it no, was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She didn't read the back of the ball. <laughs> yes. We ate it. <laughs> Gonna but, shit uh, it out." Sorry, mom. Should have known. Yeah, that's that's her. <laughs> I, I, I'm uh, I'm twelve. I don't know things. Was it like outstanding fees? Was it really expensive? Mm, I don't know. I I did hear, hear that they uh, absolved all the, like when they shut down, like nobody else had to pay. <laughs> like nobody had to pay their fees because yeah. they're because they're gone. Video yeah. rental fees used to be a fucking serious business. Yeah, yeah. it was. Bro, serious business. You didn't fucking take the movies back? Oh, yeah. What? I remember those days for We're sure. We're going to owe a fee. Fuck, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> RoboCop 3 comes out this month. <laughs> <laughs> I like 2. 2 is my favorite. Nobody likes 3. 3 is the... Three is the Godfather three of Robocops. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, tip your bartenders. Take care of your servers. Uh, this is the Fun Box Podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, give it up for Maggie Brothers on the side. Yeah, because, you know, it's hard out give here. It, give, it feel. Yeah. Hard, oh. give it up for Holland Huff. Congratulations. And give it up for yourselves for listening. And uh, we thank you guys. Keep listening. Uh, we're going to have better episodes coming up. It's oh, okay. Let's do a parade review podcast. A parade. Re- oh, yeah. What is this going to be called? Um, title Traffic of Jams. The- Traffic Jams and, and Big Booty Yams. Big Booty Yams. All right. That's a good one. I like that. <laughs> Traffic Jams and Big Booty Yams. Thank you guys for sticking around and listening. If you have listened, type in what's a word we could type. They could type in in the comment section if they listen to it. There are car the, repairs. And if what is it? Car repairs. <laughs> car repair. Car repair. If you're listening still in the comment section, type car repair, <laughs> and you're going to be an elite, and we'll somehow compensate you. <laughs> yeah, for your time. Car repair, and if you're on Spotify, just find us on Facebook and type car repair. Yeah. And we'll know who you are because you're the true OG. You're the true listener. Ca- car repair at your Amazon checkout. Yeah, you're the better. You're, you're better than. Online Coles. You're For the best 10% listener. percent discount on yeah. JCPenney. <laughs> car repair. Uh, uh, what, is, what is the title again? Uh, uh, Traffic jams and big and booty yams. Big, big booty yams. All right, traffic jams and big booty yams. Thank you guys. We love you. Peace. We out of here.